Hmm. I didn't make one of these for quite a while. Welcome to a very special video in which we are going to be demystifying and speaking some truth about a very special pill that I honestly really, really like. Now, obviously, the motivation for this video I got by watching a video on YouTube by a very special channel on YouTube, which is very big and they make a lot of videos and just give information about pedals that we are going to be discussing. Whether this information that you have, you could potentially see in this video is of any relevance or you should just be watching that video for fun, all right? So, you know, in general, what we do on this channel is we are totally cool, totally relaxed, and we talk about some great stuff. We get some information which you could then use potentially to decide whether a certain piece of gear should be on your pedal board or not, all right? Or if you should spend money for a certain piece of gear. So what I usually recommend you should do is just get something to drink, whatever the fuck you want, all right? What I'm drinking now is coffee and I use shroom cups because I find them really cool. And yeah, go grab, drink something and spend the next few minutes with me talking about the Marshall Blues Breaker pedal. We're gonna talk about everything about that pedal. Yeah, so what do you have on the market? What's about the pedal that makes it special? How can you mod it? What's about the circuit? Stuff like that. So you ready? Let's go. Okay, the first thing that we need to understand, we need to understand what a blues breaker pedal is. So basically Marshall made the blues breaker overdrive, which was supposed to sound like the old blues breaker amplifier, but everybody who follows this channel knows that I don't really believe, to say the least, that overdrive pedals sound like amplifiers, but definitely it did something. So the Marshall blues breaker was the first thing, and then it was made popular by, actually, Analog Man with the King of Tone, which is one of the best overdrives out there, but it was quite pricey, like this dual overdrive thing, but that's basically a Marshall blues breaker with a lot of boutique improvements, which makes it like boutique, obviously. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that is the blues breaker. It's a very characteristic sound. It is a pedal that in general you would consider it to be bright. A lot of people would call it a transparent overdrive. This specific pedal doesn't have a lot of bass. It's kind of bright. And what I really love about this style of circuit is that it is not an invasive circuit, I would say. It doesn't take over the sound. It just makes whatever kind of sound you have, it works great with clean amplifiers, whatever kind of sound you have, it just makes it like sound cranked and it feels like very natural. That's what I like about that pedal and I would say that um, I would even go as far to say that it sounds best with Fender amplifiers, so amplifiers that have a lot of bass, a lot of low end in the pre-amplifier section, where this pedal sort of balances stuff out because it loosens the bass a little bit, gives some grit, and then sort of gives that uh, really, really nice top end. The top end of this device, this pedal, is like tailored really, really well. So that's the characteristic Blues Breaker sound. Now, in the video, by Andertons, they were doing a blues breaker style pedal comparison and shootout where I would say that they sort of compared sometimes some like uh, apples to um, Japanese apples, you know what I mean? It, it's just like they were comparing some pedals that have nothing to do with each other. And I'll give you an example. Take a look at this. Let's see. Oh, hang on a second. I've got to switch it. Let's see what happens. Which one? Who's kicking off? Stop. That's a blues breaker. <laughs> Wow, but actually it sounds similar, it's just louder. Listen to that. Go, go. All right, so now we're coming to the point where they're just gonna play stuff and discuss what it sounds like. But what I want to point out here, you obviously have the Marshall Blues Breaker, which is a Blues Breaker style overdrive. Then you have this Blue Note OD, which has nothing to do with the Blues Breaker style circuit. It is a Timmy. The Blue Note OD is a Timmy and it sounds nothing like the Blues Breaker. It's not supposed to sound anything alike, and I don't think that comparing these two pedals and attempting to talk about the Blues Breaker style pedal is really the right way to go. In general, the video is fun. I enjoyed watching it, right? But, uh, you know, like, people don't know this. People are gonna start calling this a Blues Breaker type pedal. No, this is a Timmy. This has nothing to do with this, and this pedal won the championship, and I do like how the pedal sounds. There is no question about that, but it's not a Blues Breaker. And I know from experience 
that it will not feel or sound anything like a blues breaker style circuit. Now there is one more point in the video which I want to show you. Take a look at this. Now this round here we have the Analog Man King of Tone. Oh one God. of the ones now. King of Tone is basically two uh, blues breakers that you can stack. So we're just going to use one side. Uh, it is up against the uh, Boss OD3, which uh, <laughs> not many people would say is a blues breaker no, contender. But, but there was something on low. So with the drive rolled down, yeah. it was there or thereabouts. So let's see how we go. Let's see if it's obvious or maybe we'll get a surprise. surprise. Uh, okay, say when. When the switch on this JHS switcher is getting the beating today. Stop! That's the boss. Anyway, go on. Obviously, we're not going to watch everything. You can watch everything so, so you hear the differences. What I want to point out here, there is a huge difference between the Blues Breaker and the Blues Driver circuit. The Boss Blues Driver is a completely different circuit, which is JFED based and is nothing alike compared to the Blues Breaker. And now they're comparing the King of Tone to this Boss OD3, which is actually very, very close to the Blues Driver. These pedals are nothing alike. The Boss OD3 has a lot more gain. And yes, they're putting the gain lower and they're, you know, why try talking about this as being a Blues Breaker? Then just do a pedal comparison. This is not a Blues Breaker. Don't confuse people, honestly, all right? Okay, so I had to get that out of the system. Now, quickly, we're gonna take a look at the Blues Breaker schematic, and you will see that the Blues Breaker is actually quite a simple pedal, like a lot of these overdrive pedals, and it's a very, it, it, this circuit has some idiosyncrasies, basically the way how it's voiced, but what are the special components that could potentially lead to a certain company asking more money for um, the, this type of pedal? Because the King of Tone always used some special diodes and stuff, like this and this is the part where we discuss like that stuff I would say that the biggest difference in the blues breaker um pedal right or the, the most important components would be definitely the heart and it's the IC where the original uses TL072 and the King of Tone used uh, RC or JRC uh, 4580 and you can actually experiment with this if you have a pedal that has a socketed IC then you can like buy some of them and change them 072 compared to the RC 4580 they sound completely different and uh, you can try both of them. You also have the high gain version of the 4580. I don't know, I always found that the uh, lower gain version sounds better, but for you it just might sound a little bit better. But in general, you can swap the ICs and obviously there, there's always a talk about the magical diodes. Yeah, sometimes you can use these certain different types of diodes. Even though they're silicone, you can use different types of diodes and you're gonna get just a little bit of a difference different edge to the sound, really great for tweakers. And um, speaking of the King of Tone, the King of Tone is uh, an improved circuit of the Blues Breaker. And I say improved because it's really tailored to perfection in my opinion, and it also gives you a lot of options. And I want to show you this. So this is the Jazz Breaker, because if you have a Blues Breaker, you should have a Jazz Breaker. And this is my clone from like back 10 years ago. I love this pedal, one of my favorite pedals, definitely. I also added the soft clipping and hard clipping option, and to be honest, I usually use it in the hard clipping mode. The Blues Breaker only has the soft clipping mode, where the King of Tone offers you the option to use the hard clipping mode or both of them and stuff like this. I obviously did some tweaks to this one and I have like a, a headroom switch and the, the power supply basically in this one is quite a bit different from, from these circuits so I just wanted to make something special and just so I could feel a little bit special but in general that's a sound. That's a sound. I love how that thing sounds. And by the way speaking of this, listen, I really enjoy everybody watching and I would really be thankful if you hit the like button. If you like this video, if you like the information that I'm giving here, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it actually means a lot to me because social media is a little bit fucked up these days and it really, um, really, really helps if you just give some kind of a sign that you sort of like what I'm doing. And obviously you can use the comment section to shit on me or to give some constructive comments on what I could do possibly next or how I can improve my videos. 
And also, I would like to draw your attention to the Slightly Technical Academy. It is my website where you can actually find this pedal in the format of Tonex Tone Models. Actually, I have the Tonex Tone Models for this one. Sound great. And you can find a lot of um, free Tonex profiles, full Tonex packs, tech pages, stuff like this. Registration is for free. So go check out the Slightly Technical Academy. I will be having a lot of information, especially on this type of circuit, since I spent a lot of times ex exploring this type of circuit, all right? So basically go check that out and I thank everybody for watching. It is fair to understand that I don't go extremely deep into the details in these videos because we don't have enough time. I want to keep the videos as short as possible. So if you want to get deeper into this stuff, we're gonna have to continue the conversation somewhere else and that would be my Slightly Technical Academy. But what I'm trying to say is that there are quite a few differences between the tone, the King of Tone and uh, the Marshall Blues Breaker, but we can sort of consider them to be the same family of, of pedal and that's why I'm sort of comparing them. <laughs> Now we ran through some things, we are sort of demystifying what is a blues breaker and what the blues breaker is not. And what about the market? What kind of blues breaker pedals we have on the market? And I was searching for stuff and this is the part where I actually need you because there's so many guitar pedals nowadays and so many brands that I've never heard of. And I don't really know which ones are actually blues breakers and which ones are not. I watched the Andrewton's video. I really like how some of these pedals sounded. I mean, from what you can hear in, in this type of video, but I was actually surprised by this brown amplification, I think it's called the, the carbon, and I think that pedal sounded great. I have no idea if it's a blues breaker. Obviously, you can get the Duke of Tone made by MXR, which is like a cheapo version of this uh, boutique analog man thing. Um, I guess that would be the only way to getting the, you know, other than obviously buying a Marshall blues breaker and they're making the big ones, the black ones now. If that one is too big for you, then you can big black one too big for you then you can just go get the mxr one but other than that i don't really know some brands that are making a great blues breaker tone and i hope that people are going to comment um and let me know what kind of blues breaker style of circuit maybe i should go and search for and try what i usually do in these videos is i give my opinion on the circuit and whether you should pay a lot of money for a certain circuit and this one is actually really tricky because of the King of Tone and because of the price of the King of Tone and the fact that the King of Tone is actually a boutique pedal, then the price for a pedal like this is sort of weird, but the actual circuit, there is nothing special really about the actual circuit. I understand if you're using some NOS components, you could use some older IC because they're sort of different. I mean, nobody's using like really expensive like hi-fi ICs or audiophile stuff. Like, no, nobody's using nothing like that in the circuit. And if we're talking about special magical diodes, I mean, yeah, diodes make a difference, but does it make a huge difference? Like, I'm pretty sure that 90% of the people wouldn't even notice the difference. So there is nothing really special about the circuit, and it's very easy to reproduce massively because of the nature of the components. You don't have to tailor each and every one of these pedals. All these components are readily available everywhere. So pretty much this pedal is not exactly a problem to be made like in, in like mass produced and maybe produced also overseas and everything. I totally understand if people want to get something that's a little bit more higher quality or support the local company, that's absolutely cool. But you can actually make this pedal for not a lot of money. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of those cheaper um, brands, if they do the voicing right, if they don't tweak around, you know, if they just select the right components, they can make a really good sounding um, blues breaker. Or you could go 
DIY. Go DIY. You've got Aeon FX. You've got other brands that sell PCBs on this. It's very easy to build and you can experiment. A, you can experiment. You can, you can change different ICs. You can put different diodes. You can make it super fucking special for you. You can really make the whole boutique thing. And this is a thing that I will be touching upon on the Slightly Technical Academy, giving you a lot of information about especially this type of circuit and what are the parts that are important, what are the things that you should pay attention to, so you can really create a truly boutique sounding pedal. And yeah, I think that's it for today. I'll be seeing you in the next video extremely soon. Bye.